Decca and I, pl I play in a band called Gold. high stage and there were lights and I couldn't see the people in the band in the band but they had just finished a song and everyone was cheering and I, I was thinking what who is this because I thought maybe it's somebody that I saw and the person next to me uh, had a white shirt and it had gold written on it and a couple of other people dotted around and I was like ah oh, this, this must be gold and at the time my sister was um, in, a, in, a, in a band and they needed a name and I said to her you should call yourselves gold and they didn't want that, so I said, well, I'll, I'll start a band and I'll call it Gold. And that's how the, that's how the name came from. Well, when we were younger, our parents, like, you know, we had, like, toy guitars and... Um, I've forgotten the name, the instrument with the, the keys on the side. And you blow through it. Anyway, um, those kind of things, and we would mess around. But then at some point, we grew, outgrew those toys, and then we... They like started making sounds with our mouths and like pretending that we were something that we'd seen on, on TV or heard on the radio. Uh, and then at some point, um, my, my father, who plays a uh, kind of ragtime style piano, uh, was like, well, You guys should, should do piano too. And I thought that we were going to learn this kind of piano playing, but it was like classic, classical music, which is not. Bad, which is not what I wanted to do and I had really strange teachers which I think a lot of piano students can <laughs> can relate to uh, but and so yeah but I got to play the guitar because in my classroom I used to come to school very very early because my dad wanted to beat traffic um, and there was a guitar that was growing dust like lying on the on the sideboard in the classroom and and I would like pick it up and play a little bit and I would learn the chords. I mean, I, I just, I played them and I thought I was discovering a new chord when actually, of course, every chord that I've ever played exists before. Um, and that's how I started the guitar. And the girl whose guitar it was, I was like, you, she said, yeah, you can use it. You know, I never use it. And that's how I got to the guitar. Mm -hmm. I don't know, music's very, it's very important to me, but in a, in the in a way that food is important to me, like uh, I really it it puts me in a bad mood if I hear really bad music constantly. Just like if I eat a really bad meal, not in a bad mood, I just I start to get all existential. <laughs> yeah, music I don't really know. It's I don't really know. It's a little bit like your senses. Like I don't really know what how things could be without it, like food. Well, I, gold started as a hobby thing because when I lived in London, I kind of stopped playing music altogether. I, I didn't. I think there was a phase of about four years where I didn't touch my guitar. So when I came here, I wanted to start that again. And so it's a it's it's a hobby that's growing important because then I started to challenge myself a bit, and I I I think oh it would be nice to play in this venue or that venue, and so. If, for me to write those emails and then find reco make recordings it starts to get a bit more more than a than a hobby because then I'm spending money and thing and you know things like that. So I don't know. I would it would be nice to earn a living from doing gold stuff because I really 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 I really enjoy m making up songs and I like playing gigs and 
it makes me feel good when someone says, oh, that was a really great show, I really like these songs, or all of them, and uh, because it made me feel like this, and it reminded me of that, and it's nice. It's interesting you should ask that, because I wondered at some point, when I was, because before I decided on this whole gold band thing, I played by myself, like uh, acoustic stuff, like for, for a really long time, for like 11 years. And then I thought, because at some point I was getting up to play in front of a really big crowd of people and I was panicking and being really nervous and I thought, why are you doing that? Why are you putting yourself through this whole thing? Why? I still don't know. And so I don't really know what the purpose is. I think, it, well, if it, you, would, you could say it's a bit like showing off because you get up there and you go, this is the song that I wrote. And now you have to listen to it, and it would be nice if you told me afterwards that you liked it. You know, it's kind of a bit self-validating, maybe a bit... To think about it in that way, it seems like everyone who ever does that has some arrogant thing going on. But I think that's not the case. I don't really know why I do it, and I don't... Because that's not what's behind there. I, I d often, actually... Even though it is nice to hear feedback, I, I only want to hear about like the technical aspects. I never want to hear anything about what happened when the music came from here and went out there and like how it was received. I just, I kind of, I think it would be, I wouldn't, it makes me anxious to know about that. So I, I don't know, I, there is no message behind any of it. I just... I just play. <laughs>